Meteorologist Kevin Roth here. Let's get you an update on Tropical Storm Beta. Here's the very latest. Currently 60 mile per hour maximum winds, and this is expected to strengthen into a hurricane. Because of that, we've got a hurricane watch in effect. Here is the track. You'll notice that makes that westerly curve here strengthens to a hurricane. Remember, try not to look at the very center of that cone so much. Instead, that entire cone that you're seeing, that is the actual forecast track. But I do want to show you uh, what we're seeing when you overlay this with future track. For today, the rain is staying mostly offshore. It's actually a really nice day. It's a good day to start preparing. By Sunday, those outer bands start to move into our area. By Monday, this is nearing Texas, hurricane strength. We're still being under the influence of the storm on Tuesday. At that point, the heavy rain threat really starts to increase because the storm, the center of circulation, is getting closer to our area. All right, so we just finished baseball practice. And I have to show you, on the way here, Grayson and I were at a stop sign and this big truck rolled by. And all of this stuff splashed onto my car and we don't know what it is. Look at it, it's like fuzzy. What is it? I wonder if it's that the like true green stuff or something. I don't know, it's all over my car. So we're gonna go to the car wash. Look at that, it's on the sides. How do you get it on the sides? Oh, it will. Do these next ones do it? Yeah, there's a ton of them. All right, now it's gonna do Bucky's across our window in a minute. Yeah, it's getting the windows. I wanna see Bucky. How does it do Bucky, what does it do? Just has this like, like light that reflects. It is really scary, weird, y'all. You're on a track, and like you're not. You take your put your car in neutral, <laughs> and you don't drive. You don't. It just the track is just pulling my car along, but it feels so weird. Oh, here it comes. Oh no! I accidentally had my windshield wipers. They're auto on. Pretty. It's like a rainbow. Wow. I didn't see the Bucky symbol. Maybe they don't do it anymore. Cast like 30,000. Look, there's more, Mom. I mean, you just have to have a lot of trust in this machine, basically. That it's not going to drive you into the person in front of you or behind you. So shiny. Look at this. Look, Mom. There's still things. There's still signs. really cool, yeah, huh? I really want to touch it. They probably feel really soft. They're like squeegees. Winter, are we getting the worms? Yeah. Ooh, you smell that? It smells good. And yeah, they look the things on. Yeah, I got off all the stuff. Good. I think. Oh, I smell it now. It smells good, huh? and I got some goodies to share with his sisters. What's the car <laughs> That's Grayson's favorite part. His favorite part, he was telling y'all, was the car wash. It does look pretty. The car looks nice, huh? Yeah. While we were in the store, I heard um, there was this just a, you know, just a police officer standing around. And there were people, he was talking to people and they were telling him about how they had evacuated down near from Galveston. And I was like, it changed a lot from yesterday. So yesterday, at like, well, at like one in the morning, we got put on a tropical storm warning. And then it switched today to a hurricane watch. And that's what we're under right now. Our, they also will sometimes will call it a tropical cyclone statement or something like that. But during Grayson's practice, they updated the forecast and it went from like, it showed the storm, it goes this way and hits Texas and then it curves back around and kind of was going like south right under Houston 
right along that way but then it changed and now it'll change again though it's going to change seven more times so who knows but for right now it changed so it's going to hit texas and then it turns and it hits houston directly so i was like whoa so we got to just keep an eye on it for flooding reasons it's not like it's not like gonna they think it's going to be a one a category one but <laughs> we have flooded in less than that so we got to just be careful I was playing uh, with them. I was the pitcher, but <laughs> I had my shoes on. I like stepped in weird things, so and now my foot's all wonky. And I was like, "Okay, all right, I'm not fielding. I'm going in." But that was fun. It feels so good outside. But I need to clean up some of our recycling, and I got to order trampoline part that we tried to get for months. And finally, I found a place that'll like on Amazon. Some sellers popped up that are selling them like off-branded universal ones, which is great because just like everything else in this world right now, there's shortages of trampoline parts, which I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> and obviously that's like not a big deal and not a significant problem. It's just funny to me. It's just funny. And I know like uh, I, I was laying with Elizabeth. We were playing doctor and she had me lay in my bed and I literally fell asleep. And then I, I woke up and she was snuggled up next to me asleep. <laughs> that's why. And then I went outside to play, so that's why my eyeliner has traveled south. Totally worth it because we've been having a fun day, so that's good. Voluntary evacuations are in effect for the Bolivar Peninsula and also the Galveston area as we look at a rather wonky hurricane track and we're looking at rainfall and gusty winds through Sunday and even into the middle of next week. So this is a multi-day event. Uh, there is a change in the forecast here, uh, some pretty important changes in that they've lowered the intensity uh, as it's coming towards the coast. And that's been a steady trend. So, you know, even as of this morning, they were calling for a hurricane, the storm to strengthen to a hurricane as it was approaching the Texas Gulf Coast. Then they dropped back to strong tropical storm at 70 miles per hour at the 5 p.m. advisory. Now with this new advisory, they've dropped back to 60 miles per hour. And so I think that's a, a really good forecast. Well, now it's starting to take that turn towards Texas and it's still a good 200 miles away from Galveston Bay. So you do have some time to prepare and to make sure your kits are good to go just in case, because even with tropical storm force winds, the power could go out and you don't know when it's going to come back on. So it's always good to be prepared for that. Hello, everybody. So the positive note is that it feels amazing outside. I mean, I think it's only like 79 degrees, which that oh, feels so good. Feels so good. The uh, not great news is, yeah, we're in the middle of the day and this is what the sky looks like on my over brightening camera. So you know, it's not the best because like it looks like this. It's been like that all day. And we're only on Sunday, so we'll see what this... Now they said it's not going to hit as a hurricane anymore. It's going to hit as a tropical storm. That doesn't really, like, make us worry less because uh, Houston has been flooded from tropical storm weather before, so we could still flood and have problems. I will be fine at my house, but the city itself... Good morning, guys! Or, I don't know, it might just be hello. I don't know if I'm going to make the vlog from the weekend, if this a continuation, or if this is gonna be a new day. So either way, hello. We just got, I just did a Walmart like grocery delivery for the first time because we're trying out their new, it's like $98 a year, but you get free grocery delivery if it's like over $35 and, uh, and store stuff, like whatever's in the store, which that's pretty cool. And you get like discount on gas and I don't remember everything else, whatever, you get stuff. We're trying it out. So, um, right now, I'm disappointed because when I was making my order, um, there was a bunch of things that I added on that um, were available at Walmart. And it's my Walmart. It's the Walmart I shop at. It's the Walmart that's listed on my account. So, when I went to do checkout for delivery, they were like, oh, we have to switch your store. And I was like, why? That's like the closest Walmart to me. Well, it turns out there's like a market side Walmart, which is their like grocery store version of a Walmart. It's way smaller, 0.7 miles closer than the real Walmart. 
and they wouldn't let me pick. Like with Kroger's, if you're doing delivery, you can pick as long as it's in a certain radius. You can like say like, I want that Kroger's or that Kroger's or whatever. You can do the same thing with H-E-B. You can do the same thing with Target if you're using their the ship company that does the delivery for them. But they wouldn't let me do that with Walmart. And so guess what? They like literally like 12 things that I had put in my cart weren't available because they don't have them at the market side one. I thought that was kind of not like short, like, I, I don't know. I didn't like that. So I'm going to like email them and be like, hey, <laughs> like if I'm going to pay for this service, like I paid for it so I could get access to like a full Walmart. And I understand if like the full Walmart was like 10 miles further away and I was being ridiculous. It's not. It's literally 0.7. It was like 0.69 or something like that away like anyway other than that it went really well like I ordered this cup that I got at Walmart okay it's whatever I love it I, I take it with me everywhere all the baseball games but at baseball games Grayson has his water bottle that he likes but he always after at the end of the game he always is like mom like he always takes the rest of my water and he eats my ice because he thinks that that keeps the ice colder than his so, um, anyway, so he asked for one. So they had one. So I ordered a black one. Great. Awesome. They're like only $9. Well, when we get here, they had a sub for it. They substituted it for this, which is way, way nicer and cost a lot more money. And they charged me only the, like the nine bucks. They charged me the same price. I thought that was really nice of them because I would have expected that one for them to just say it was out of stock, but like, holy smokes. It's a really nice one. So anyway, Grace is gonna be excited. The other thing they did that was really funny is I ordered this like 36 count of dinner rolls and I guess they were out. So they substituted with the Hawaiian rolls, which is fine, I don't care, that sounds great. So here it is, it's a 24 pack, right? So you'd think, okay, so maybe they'd give you two. They gave me three. Three, three, 24 packs. <laughs> of Hawaiian rolls and all of that for $3 because that's how much the other rolls I ordered to cost. So they gave me that for $3. That would cost normally way more than $3. But the only thing is, I think that's awesome. They're really nice of them, like really like generous, <laughs> but I don't know how we're gonna eat all these. <laughs> so anyway, um, that was a few things they did that I thought were actually like really good. So that was my long boring story about that, but I'm gonna see what other like surprises we have going on. So other than like not loving the thing with the location service, which I think is probably just an oversight. In general, this was like really easy and nice. So I got a thing of strawberries, chicken salad, onion. See Kyle, this is why I don't like you to buy those packs of onions. This is a real yellow onion. Kyle buys me these packs and they come with onions this big. It's still an onion. <sighs> I know, but I like these the same. big old juicy, big yellow onions. Uh, <laughs> uh, look Kyle, I got their little why are you discriminating against the small one? <laughs> I got their little ice cream snacks. Uh, yeah, right? They were way cheaper. Look, it's the crawfish boil pack, Kyle. <laughs> uh, you can boil this bag. Just remove the tag. That's awesome, actually. Just throw the potatoes in. All right, so I got red potatoes, Sister Super sausage red rolls. Those are good for lunch or breakfast. We have got some bell peppers, yellow pepper, red pepper. We've got more meat. So one thing I did do wrong is that uh, I am used to how I describe it at Kroger's. So at Kroger's, I was like, I would just say like, I want two of these like skirt steaks, right? Walmart, they gave me two packages two whole packages of two each, and they did not clarify that. Yeah, what's up? I mean, I don't, I don't even like, I mean, just, you know. Anyway, so I ended up spending double what I wanted to, but I will just freeze one and we will have it for a different meal, no problem. All right, so I guess I'll do these really quick. So anyway, so I got, you know, an abundance of skirt steak, and I've got two of these um, strip steaks, then the fajita, Chicken breast, like already marinated. Uh, Zatarans, uh, chicken alfredo. The Italian cut green beans. Char carrot chips, rosemary, uh, wonton wrappers. Then Parmesan cheese, and mozzarella shredded cheese. Um, unsalted butter I need for recipe and some pepper jack. 
These that I got for the kids, I can't say out loud because I don't want them to know, so it's a surprise. Garlic bread. I've actually got these little honey chicken tenders, but they didn't have them, so they substituted for these, which is just fine. I already told you about my gigantic roll order. It's supposed to be 36 dinner rolls, and instead I ended up with, how much is this, Kyle? 72. 24 times 3 is 72. I got 72. So nice. <laughs> So nice. And for three dollars, a dollar a thing, which is not, by the way, these cost more than that. So it does. You know what? They're a great value. It is a great value. But I'm bum. All right, I got a bunch of frozen broccoli because you just always need that in your freezer. Some garden rotini, heavy cream, a bunch of lemons, avocado, uh, green apples, the Granny Smith apples. Those are our favorite. Except Sophie, who she likes the red apples better. But this time we're trying the jazz the apples, which we've never heard of. So Kyle looked it up and they're from New Zealand. New Zealand. They're from New Zealand. They're a hybrid of Greyburn and Gala apples. And they're supposed to be a little, like red apples are really bad to cook with because they're so sugary and they're soft. That's why you usually cook with green apples or you at least only use red apples as partial, but blah, blah, blah. But these are supposed to be a little bit of a heartier apple. And so I'm very curious about these, if they're, they sounded delicious. But anyway, yeah, but they're made in New Zealand. Jazz apples. Although these say USA, Kyle. This is good. These are smaller. These say USA. So maybe these were, well, they, they were, the varieties from oh, the varieties from New Zealand. I guess these actually were grown in the USA, but you guys get what we're saying. Anyway, this is, oh yeah, so I got, um, that was another thing we didn't get. You can get at Kroger's when we go, the salads. They were out of the. Caesar bacon salad, and I wanted two of them. So uh, we got one salad, and we need a lot more than that, but that's okay. Uh, some Lunchables, only Grayson eats those. Uh, garlic knots, rice, uh, clementines, or mandarins, like which is the best. I love these because my kids love oranges, but they're so messy with the little one. And this, these are way, way like more reasonable in terms of a mess from a kid. All right, some more printer paper, some croissants, uh, some popcorn. And then here's another area, Kyle. I ordered the cheaper like Rayvac ones because they just are going inside of the sound machine that Elizabeth has and they didn't have them. So they gave us the nicer Duracell for the same price, which is very nice. All right, and then I already said the rest. Ta -da. Still a tropical storm warning in effect from Harris County southward. Feeder bands will be ongoing on again, off again throughout the day and during the evening hours. And with some of these feeder bands, can't rule out some rotating thunderstorms. So there could be an isolated brief tornado, not just today, but also through tomorrow. All right, the rain has slowed down. So this is a time for Jack to go to the bathroom, but it's still raining a lot. I know, buddy, I'm so sorry. Ooh, the wind is picking up too. The wind is definitely picking up. So I don't know if y'all have noticed, but do you remember those beautiful trees that were right there? They, they cut them down. They were big, huge trees like those right there. It was, they, cut, they cut two of them down. It was so sad. I don't know if they were, I don't know. There's this like ginormous estate over there. And I think um, the people moved out in the spring and I think like, I don't know. Oh, poor Jack. Jeez. Poor little fella. It's just non-stop rain. Just rain, 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 rain. So I know I have some fantastic hair, but um, Elizabeth was doing my hair. So <laughs> anyway, I got a scrunchie though because I need to put it back up so I can go do dinner. Come on, buddy. You're soaking wet now, Jack. Are y'all done, dude? Don't don't shake off in the rain. It's just not, it's not gonna help. Oh, he's so wet. I need to get a towel. Poor little guy. Down. Down. Come on. Sit down. Sit down. Dry off, buddy. Sit down, You're not drying off on my floor. Sit down. Sit. Sit. <laughs> he can't hear. Jack, hey, he's gonna. Come on. Okay. Stay. 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 Jack, Jack, down. Hey, hey, look him up, look him up. Watch it, move your, Jack, Jack, down. Down. Down, little guy. <laughs> you can't just.
just sit here. Nope, no. We should get Dad. He normally just does this on his own, doesn't he? Why is he hyper? I don't know. Did he, just, did he not go potty because he got scared of the rain? No, he went a lot of potty. <laughs> I think he's hyper because he's been cooped up inside all day. Or he's just happy to see you. I'm just trying to get him to wipe off because, sit, look, he already down. got mud on my floor from earlier sit, and I'm going to have to clean it sit. up. Sit, sit. Judge Normally he dries off on his own. Sit down, sit down. We don't sit ever down. have to. We just lay a towel down and he just rolls sit around down. on it. Sit down. No. Do Jack, what are you being <laughs> so weird? Hold on, let me see. Let me see. He's like, being weird, isn't he, Gray? Yeah. Like, he's being weird. <laughs> Let's just drag He him. just wants a bunch of lovings. Yeah, he does. Okay. I'll pet your wet hair. What doggy hair? You know, it wouldn't be wet if you sit, 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 stay, <laughs> stay. <laughs> So, you know what? For an old man dog who's dying of cancer, you are in a mood. You're in a good mood. He's like, come on, guys, let's go play. He wants a turkey stick. Oh, he's got food. He just wants a turkey stick. No, yeah, it's because he wants, he wants. When he gets hungry, he's tired of his other food. So well, he he's getting food. spoiled because since he is sick, and it's terminal. We've been spoiling him with extra turkey sticks. Oh, and he, because of that. Now he's now, now he's he just dieting. now he's just super yeah, stoked he, about it. Now he's just dieting. Uh, <laughs> you little butthead dog. So when he gets hungry, he'll beg us for a turkey stick. Uh huh. He wants going, the good and stuff. Instead, just go to his infinite food source. I know, and we get him nice dog food too. It's not like we're buying him weird you know what stuff. We do? All right, this vlog is getting long, so I'm going to continue it in the next one. Good night. Guys. Oh, 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 oh,